Hey Psych2Goers and welcome back to another video. Before we start, we'd like to give you a huge thanks for all of the love and support that you've given us. Psych2Go's mission is to make psychology more accessible to everyone and you help us do that. Now, let's continue. While introversion and quietness often go hand in hand, it's essential to recognize that being quiet does not automatically mean you're an introvert. In fact, quiet individuals can possess unique traits and behaviors that distinguish them from introverts. Introversion is formally defined by clinical psychologist, Dr. David Sussman, as a personality trait characterized by a focus on internal feelings rather than on external sources of stimulation. Understanding the distinction between being introverted and simply being quiet can help you better learn more about your own personality, as well as dispel misconceptions surrounding quiet individuals. With that said, here are five psychology-backed signs that you may be quiet, but not introverted. Social engagement. One of the key differentiators between quiet individuals and introverts lies in their preference for social interactions. While introverts often feel rapidly drained by prolonged socializing and seek solitude to recharge, quiet individuals can be quite comfortable in social settings, says Dr. Sussman. Unlike introverts who might actively avoid large groups or excessive stimulation, quiet individuals can tolerate such environments without feeling overwhelmed. They may not actively initiate or dominate conversations, but they do frequently engage with others in their own way, even those they don't know well. Energy restoration. Introverts require significant amounts of alone time to rejuvenate after social interactions, explains therapist Amy Morin. On the other hand, quiet individuals may not necessarily need as much solitude to recharge. They might find moments of quiet reflection or engaging in solitary activities refreshing but it may not be an absolute necessity for their well-being. Quiet individuals can derive energy from different sources, including group activities and being in the presence of others without actively participating in conversation. Liking this video so far? Don't forget to leave a comment, hit like, and subscribe to support our content. Comfortable in groups. Similar to our earlier point, quiet individuals can comfortably navigate group dynamics without feeling the strong need to assert themselves or seek attention. Unlike introverts who may find the demands of group discussions exhausting, psychologist Dr. Kendra Kabala explains that quiet individuals can participate at their own pace, choosing quality over quantity in their contributions. While they may prefer observing rather than taking center stage, they can adapt to group conversations and contribute when they have something meaningful to say. Communication styles. According to Dr. Kabala, introverts often prefer deep, meaningful conversations and may find small talking draining and uninteresting. Quiet individuals, on the other hand, can adapt their communication style depending on the situation. They may engage in small talk when necessary or when it helps create social bonds, but they also appreciate deeper conversations when the opportunity arises. Quiet individuals are comfortable listening and observing, but they're not inherently adverse to social exchanges that may involve casual topics the way most introverts are. This flexibility demonstrates adaptability and willingness to engage with others highlighting your comfort in diverse social environments. External stimulation. Introverts tend to rely on internal stimulation, such as introspection and other solitary activities to find fulfillment. However, if you find yourself seeking external sources of stimulation, such as attending events, participating in group activities, or exploring new environments, it suggests that you derive energy from the external world more than, or perhaps equally than, you do from your internal world. According to psychologist Dr. Christina Hallett, this could mean that you're either a quiet extrovert or an ambivert. All of these points illustrate that being quiet doesn't automatically equate to being introverted. It's important to make this distinction because while quietness often aligns with introversion, it does not define it. We as a society must recognize that quiet individuals can possess unique personalities and social preferences. If you find yourself resonating with the signs discussed in this video, you may indeed be quiet, but not introverted. Embrace your natural disposition and celebrate the diversity of personalities that make our world vibrant and rich. So what are your thoughts on this video? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you found this video valuable or helpful, please support our work by leaving a like and subscribing. We also have plenty more videos on introversion and personality that you might be interested in, such as seven signs you're an introverted genius. Till next time.